Hi, my name is In Zhu. I'm a graduate student in the Ohio State University. I'm here to discuss my recent paper with Kirk Schanick, Shimon Koslowski, and Andrew Wodowski, in which we investigate the statistical properties of quasar variabilities. The damp to random walk model, or the DRW model, has been increasingly popular in modern quasar light curves, but it is still uncertain whether the DRW model provides an adequate description of quasar variabilities across all time scales. The DRW model characterizes quasar light curves as a stochastic process with an exponential covariance function with only two parameters, an amplitude sigma and a characteristic time scale tau. The important questions we hope to address in this paper are, are there any deviations of quasar variability from the DRW model? And if there are, on what time scales does the DRW model break down? We use light curves of 55 quasars behind the small and the large Magellanic clouds monitored by OGLE. They are typically 570 epochs taken over 7 years on a 2-day cadence. For each light curve, we derive its best fit DRW parameters, and then generate a mock light curve, so that we have a mock sample which is completely consistent with the DRW model on all time scales. To search for deviations from the DRW model on different time scales, we consider four modifications to the fiducial DRW model by introducing an additional parameter into the covariance function, as shown in Figure 1 in the paper. In each panel, the x-axis is a time lag in units of the characteristic time scale tau, and the y-axis is a covariance nominalized the unity as zero lag. The DRW covariance function is plotted in each panel as a black dashed curve. We will concentrate on two modifications in this coffee brief. Start from the powered exponential model on the top left. The additional parameter gamma changes both short and long time scale behaviors simultaneously and recovers the DRW model when gamma equals 1. On the bottom right is the Kepler exponential model. The additional parameter tau cut is defined as a time scale below which the correlations are stronger than the DRW model. This modification is motivated by the recent findings of Moshowski et al. from Kepler. The DRW model is recovered when tau cut equals 0. Figure 2 in the paper shows the results for the powered exponential model. The top panels show the joint and individual likelihood functions of gamma for the OGO light curves on the left and right respectively. The bottom panels show the joint and individual likelihoods for the mock data. If we compare the two left panels, the two joint likelihood functions both peak at gamma equals 1, which is exactly the value for the DRW model. So the overall data light curves are in excellent agreement with the DRW model. If we compare the two right panels, the data light curves on the top show a larger scattering gamma than the mock light curves on the bottom. We have done a careful assessment of the photometric error properties in the data and conclude that the large scatter we see is primarily driven by the intrinsic scatter in the data light curves. For the Kepler exponential model, figure 5 compares the distribution of quasars as a function of the best fit tau cut for the data on the left panel and for the mark on the right. We can clearly see the bimodal distribution of tau cut in the data, which may suggest the existence of a cut of time scale from a month to a quarter for about half of the quasars. However, the result is largely weakened by the lack of sampling in this regime and uncertainties in the estimated photometric errors. To summarize, we find excellent agreement with the DRW model on time scales that are well sampled by the OGO light curves. On the very short time scales, we find weak evidence for the existence of a cutoff time scale, echoing the recent findings of Moshowski et al. from Kepler. So the good news is that the quasars are capricious, but are statistically predictable.